Hey guys, and welcome back for another awesome challenge. Today is gonna to be a bit of a sticky challenge. Actually, complete opposite of sticky. Today I'm gonna to be using baby powder. A lot of baby powder. Now, one of my little known secrets, or maybe big known secrets, I, I, I don't I don't shy away from is I use baby powder, just a little bit of the powder, tiny bit, on the hands, before making balloons. That way, when I'm doing balloons, it doesn't squeak at all. It helps to keep everything together just fine. And yeah, in general, it's very helpful. But if you use a lot of baby powder, one's done done really easy. So, I'm gonna be using a ton of baby powder. In this balloon, I'm gonna be trying to make a dog. Let's get into it. Both that thing baby powder. Woo! I'll get a lot of baby powder on the floor today. Some more. Like the balloon is getting lighter because of how much baby powder I have on. Sure though. Oh, that's a ton of baby powder. Just gotta make a balloon dog. Problem is. I do it like that. It wants to come undone. Like that. You can see. Hold on to that. I'll make a tail on Let's see. Stay. Stay. There we go. One balloon dog made using way too much bay powder. Guys, if you're a balloon artist, use a little bit of bay powder. Helps make sure the balloons don't squeak. Don't use too much, otherwise, very easy to just pull apart. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next week for another challenge.